In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to set this gorgeous Mariolite, this fasted round, into one of the semi mounts that we do. So, we're going to learn how to gem set the stone. So, the, the tools that I'm going to work with are from the gem setting toolkit. So, I'm going to work with the clamp, the pusher, uh, I've got some of the, the, the setting pliers. I might need the burnisher and if I have to lift the prongs, I might use the prong lifter. So we'll see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, uh, the mount into the clamp really securely. So I'm going to pop this into the top here. I want to have, make sure that it's level and that we can see where the, exactly where the stone is going to sit. So I'm just going to position that up and tighten here. So what I do want to do, I want to make sure that this is sitting level. So I'm actually going to lift this up and look from all angles just to make sure that it's sitting flat. So I'm going to tighten that up just ever so slightly. Okay. So I'm going to take the stone I'm going to pop that into the setting here. So again, I just want to make sure that I'm looking all the way around. I'm looking at getting down to the level of the, the gem itself and making sure that it's sitting flat. And again, I want to look all the way around. So when I'm happy with that, what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to use the, the pliers. I'm going to bring these in and all I'm looking to do at first is I'm going to push the prongs so that they're coming in contact with the stone. I don't want to push them over the stone yet, I'm just going to secure it in place. So I'm just going to start and angle the pliers. I'm going to put my thumb on top of the stone and just start to push those prongs just so that they're starting to make contact, not coming over the top of the gemstone, just so they're sitting. I'm just going to sit in that mount a little bit more securely before we can push them over. So every time I start to make any sort of move or change the shape of the prongs or the setting itself, I do want to have a little look. So at this point again, I'm going to bring it up to eye level and I want to look and make sure again that that is still moving around but not as much as before because we're pushing the prongs so they're closer with the stone. So now I'm going to go back and angle it a little bit more. Again, I'm going to put my thumb over the top and I'll start to push. And I'm going opposite prongs. So I've done the one side so I'm going to come over and just bring that ever so slightly. So the, the, I'm going to work with this one now and then with this one here. So again putting my thumb on top and just bringing ever so slightly small movements just so that this stone gradually stops moving about within the setting. And again pushing against here. So again I'm going to bring it up to eye level and have a look. And the stone is still moving around, but not as much. So I'm going to now move to the, the pusher here. And so we can see here, so this has got a little notch here. So I'm going to put the prong in here. And now what I'm going to start to do is put the prong and push over the top of the gemstone now. So I'm holding tight onto the, the stone and I'm going to rock towards the centre of the stone and start to push that in. So I've done the one side, so I want to go for the opposite prong now. So we started on this one, so I'm going to turn it round and do the opposite side. And again, so the prong is in that little groove that we looked at at the end of the, the pusher. I'm going to push over, up and over, and move round. So now I'm going to go on to this one. Again, my thumb is on top of the stone. I can already feel that the stone is, is not moving around as much. I'm going to push over the top of the stone. And again, holding, putting my thumb on top. And the stone's hardly moving now. 
So I've got three prongs that are coming up the side of the gemstone and now over the top. So I've done quite a few moves there. So I am, again, I'm going to bring it up so that I can double check that the stone is sitting straight and that's looking good. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to start to push these, the prongs over even more. I'm going to push over, just taking my time, still working opposites at the moment. It's getting much, much more secure. So we're looking to get so that this, the hard pusher is almost squashing that silver over the top of the gemstone. So when you're happy that that is, that the gemstone is secure within the mount, what we can then do is we can burnish using the burnisher and we can push. So you can see I'm holding it like this, almost as if I was going to um, peel something. And I'm just going to go across, again, the soft silver, and I'm just bringing this over. And what the burnisher will keep doing is it will squash after time. It's going to push that, that soft silver down because the metal of the burnisher is harder. I'll work my way around. And that's just going to make sure that nothing, it doesn't, it's making good contact with the stone and it's not going to catch on clothes or hair or anything like that. So you're going to keep working your way and take your time with this. And we're just going to push over and you'll keep doing that. And you can see, we can take this out and eventually what will happen is that the prongs will go a little bit flatter on the stone, but that's how you would gem set that gorgeous stone in the ring mount. 